Hi, Gracie's Houses. I um, I feel like I've neglected you a little bit um, with new painty products. I've been showing you some pretties from Redesign with Prima and I've not really shown you anything from Dixie Belle for a while. So um, coming to you today, Nikki from Gracie's House. If you come on, um, I'm sorry, I'm a bit jaded today, I'll be honest. I've been up since very, very early. Um, I've got a rare day in the workshop all on my own today because Gracie and um, her daddy, he's, he's driven her to go and uh, she's filming today as an extra. But it meant that they had to leave just after four o'clock this morning. So I've been awake since then. I woke up about 12 o'clock before that as well at midnight. So I'm feeling a little bit tired. So I'm really sorry I'm so late in the day. Mostly I try and come and show you something new early, uh, earlier on, sort of before lunchtime. So... Um, if you are on watching me now, just pop a little hi in the comments and I'll try and um, keep my eye and say hello to you. Um, if you've got any questions, always welcome to drop a question in there as well. And if I do miss it, I'll catch it at the end anyway. Um, if you haven't already, I'm sure if you're watching me by now, you've probably already liked and followed my page. But if you haven't, if you could pop over and do that, that would be great too. So I'm going to show you Easy Peasy Spray Wax by Dixie Bell. This stuff is amazing. I've not used this, so I'm still getting to grips with all of the products that Dixie Bell offer. Um, and this is something that I've not used until today. Hi, Alison. Hi, Goldie. Diane. Birdie, birdie. Bird, yeah. Um, and um, this is this is really, really cool, guys. This is brilliant. So I've been working on a commission job. Um, hi, Diane from New York. Um so these drawers, can you see the fronts? They're really, really abstract. So it's quite a, a traditional set of drawers. I'm not going to show you the whole piece because I haven't done the reveal to my client yet. But she'd had an artwork given to her for her birthday and she wanted me to, um, I'm not going to say copy, but she wanted those to be used, that, that artwork to be used as inspiration. So it's a pair of um, sort of Regency type style drawers, four drawers each side and the artwork is kind of similar. It has all of these colours and all of these textures, a little bit of pink, silvers, greys, really, really cute. Anyway, so the drawers are quite neat in the drawer unit. And I did warn her because she wanted the drawer sides done as well to match. So they're just a bit cleaner looking when opening the drawers. So I did warn her that I'd need to double check once we got all the drawers in the right place because they came to me and they were all higgledy piggledy. And luckily on these older sets, you see there's a number there, it says 13. Yeah, in the middle it says 13, and then on the bottom there, I've got drawer number three. So both units were numbered and ordered, the drawers were in order as well. So I got them all back in the right places, and I felt like there was enough room for me to paint the sides and it wouldn't stick too much. But rather than, so I did really, really thin layers of paint. Rather than um, adding a, um, a normal water-based clear coat, I thought I would try the easy peasy spray wax because if you do use wax if you've got sticky drawers then wax can help as well and because I've created all this texture as well um, I just thought this was a really really good good time to try this and I have to say I love it so I'm just going to reach down and grab my my cloth hi Liz so I'm going to just show you on a drawer side how easy hi Yvonne it is to use because um, I'm sure if you're familiar with using wax out of a tin, um, it can be hard work. You have to put it on, leave it for a little while, wipe the excess off, then maybe go away for a bit longer, buff it up. This is super quick. So it isn't the toughest of the top coats. It's the it's the it's probably the weakest, but it, cure, it dries in 30 minutes and it cures in six hours. So it's the quickest top coat you can use. Really, really good if you've got a lot of detail um, carvings and things and you can use this spray it because you, it, it, it's easy to apply and it will get into all those nooks and crannies so simple as give it a good shake before you use it shake 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 and spray it on now I've got these really really cool um, microfiber cloths because they don't shed anything so they're, they're lint free hi Hayley and um, 
I got a, a big bundle of these because they're really great for using any, what well, any 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 of the waxes they're great for. But if you're wiping down, just I was struggling with some some um, rags that I was using and they were leaving me some fluff in there. So this is brilliant. So there we go. You you saw me. Hey, can you see it in the light there? See how it's wet. And all I'm going to do is take my rag, or in this case my lint-free microfiber cloth. These are the same kind of things that the, the chaps use for cleaning cars, polish on cars, because it doesn't leave the fluff. That's it. It's done, and it's so smooth. I mean, I can feel it. You can feel the moisture, but I mean, it says 30 minutes to dry. I, it's quite hot today again. Um, I found within 10 minutes, and I, can you hear the difference? It's so, so smooth, it's buttery soft. And, and that's it, and then you can leave it. And that's it, so I, I, I've, um, I've done all of these now. And I've done the unit. The only thing I'm not gonna do this with, because I've used texture on the whole unit, the only thing I'm not gonna use this for is the tops. Because they're gonna go on the bedside, I'm anticipating that people will put cups of tea and coffee and things on there. So I will be doing a harder top coat on the top of both of the bedsides and um, probably gator hide as well. But I just wanted to show you, I'm so, it is just a really, really quick one. Um, but before I put the handles back on, I've done all of the fronts. So on here, I've got um, the gray, that I can't remember the name of. Oh, my brain today. So I've got, there's some gravel road there's some fluff in there, there's some driftwood in there, and I can't remember the grey, the base coat grey, it's the middle, it's the mid-toned grey. Brain's gone completely. And then the metallics that I've used, I've scraped on, um, I've scraped on the decor wax in Shiny Star, and I think it's Vega, the dark one. Um, I've resprayed the handles, and then I've hit them up with some Shiny Star decor wax as well. And the little pink is... Uh, curiously pink that one um because she she specifically wanted a really hot pink almost fluorescent and that's the most fluorescent that I could find um to match what she's got in her artwork but um as I said hi Sally as I said I'm not going to show off the whole thing because there's a little bit of a teaser I'm hoping I'm waiting for two handles because two of them were broken so she's ordered new ones and had them sent direct to me and I'm waiting for them to come and then as soon as they come, I can get them photographed. And I'm hoping it's gonna be either today or tomorrow. But I just wanted to come on and just show you the Easy Peasy Spray Wax because it's brilliant and it's just so smooth. I love it. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. It's a quick one. Like I said, I'm getting I'm tired today. Man, I think I might have to work, close the workshop up. I've been cleaning wax off of pine units. I've finished off this one behind me here. That's finished. I don't know if you, oh, going the wrong way. Can you see the little yellow piece behind me? Ooh, that's kind of finished and waiting for handles. So I might go in and play with some resin and some moulds and sit and chill out and have a cup of tea. So thanks for watching. Um, like I said, if you um, haven't already, I'd love it if you could like and follow my page. That would be awesome. And um, if you do happen to catch me on like replay, if you pop hashtag replay in the comments, that would be great too. And I can just see how people are, are watching me. If you've got any questions, I'll always keep checking back and see if I missed any. Thanks guys, thanks for watching.